morning, Leslie. Nice morning again, boy. Not too bad. It's going to rain in a little while, so make the most of it. Well, I was hoping to go around with my new streamer. Well, not my new streamer. I've got some new streamer wire, you see? Yeah. So that's a job to put that thing in there, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I, I sat there best part of 20 minutes yesterday trying to get that out and put it in, but I've done that. But uh, that's one of them ones, you know, Leslie, that, that should... You shouldn't have to pull it. That should come through on its own, you know? Yes, yes. But I was hoping to get out there and give out a little stream today, uh, but that no. doesn't seem like that's going to happen then, boy. I, I wouldn't think so. Not today. Maybe, over, maybe no. over the weekend. Anyway, what sort of week have you had, Brian? All right, not bad. I mean, I've been, you know, pottering about. I, I ventured far this week. I had a bad mouth beginning of the week. Oh, did um, you? Uh, what happened? A bad mouth? Well, yeah, I had a bad on on uh, Sunday, Monday, because Marcus's missus, Glenda, she come round and she, was, well, we was sat there Sunday afternoon, there was a tab on the door, and I said, who the does the hell is that? So I went and had a look, and that was um, Glenda, and she said, here, she said, a little something for you, that's a spot of dick. Oh, okay. So um, I don't mind that, you know, a treacle pudding, chocolate pudding, spot of dick. I, I don't mind, you know, one of them blasts is lovely and a bit mm. of custard. Oh, yeah. So, so I, I said, well, what's that for then? She said, well, no, she said, we, we bought a lot because that was buy one, get one free. Right. She said, and we thought you might like one. That's nice, isn't it? So, because mother can't eat that, you see, because of her teeth. Yeah. Their teeth get stuck in it, you know. And oh, yes. That's too messy, Leslie. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I brought it in. A little bit later on, I, I made myself up some... Some custard with the water, you know. I, I can't be bothered to make up with the old milk. I know yep. you should, but you know it's just as nice with the water in it. Well, if it works for you, Brian. And so I, I whacked it in the zapper for, I don't know what the microwave, huh? The microwave. That's right. I always yeah. call it the zapper. And um, and so uh, anyway, that come out right. I put the custard on it. Yes. I sat down and uh, blast that burnt my mouth. Lady. Oh, Brian. I don't know if that was the custard or the dick, but when I put it in my mouth, I thought to myself, what the... And do you know what? On the on the roof of my mouth, right? That's, that's a sort of... I don't, I don't know if it's a blister or what it is, but on Sunday and Monday... Yeah. I couldn't hardly eat nothing because that was, that was catching it, you know? Oh, that's horrible when that happens, isn't it? So, yeah, so I'll, I'll let me listen because Mother always always said you should blow on it. Yes, you with, should. You know, anything like that, blow on it before you put it in your mouth. But I'll learn one day, boy, you know. But apart from that, I mean, all I've been doing really this week is sitting and watching what's going on the telly because, you know, that didn't get any better, do it? Well, what, what do you think of what's been going on in uh, in Downing Street then? And, and four, four of uh, the Prime Minister's aides quit yesterday. Um, and uh, you know, there's about 17 MPs have put their letters in. Because they have, because they're worried their name is on the list, aren't they? <laughs> what, what that is, Leslie, when you sit and watch all this, they keep squabbling, it's like a ruddy circus. <laughs> and, and you know, I, I look at it like this, Leslie, right? Yes. You've got the, that he weren't at that party alone, was he? There were, there, were, there were a few other people there, yes. That's right. Yes. Now, we don't know who they are yet, do we? No, we don't, no. No, because cause, um, uh, that, that woman who done her report... Yeah. That's, that's now being looked at by the... Sue Gray. Offers, isn't it? Huh? Sue, Sue Gray. That's right, who yeah. no one has ever seen or met ever. <laughs> I mean, she, he could have gone down the bus stop and got a hold of this woman and say, can you do me a ton? And you, you come and do a... You know, a little report. Anyway, he, he stood up there, didn't he? And he said, I'm sorry. Did that not cut it for you then, Brian? Well, don't you think it's a bit ruddy late for sorry? After he stood up there in front of... How many times have he stood there and say, there ain't been a party, you don't need to worry. That's a little old squit, nothing's going on. How many times did he say that? And then all of a sudden, there, there had been a party... And he said, oh, I'm sorry, I must do better. He's like, he's like, I'll tell you what he's like, Leslie. Go on, Brian. It's like, it's like he's on a, on a school bus, right? Yes. But he's a driver, because he's too important to be sitting there. So he's on the bus, he and even the conductor. He's, he's, he's driving the bus. Yes. And what happened yesterday, right? Yes. Is some of these kids have got off the bus. Yep. Because they know that their names are probably going to be mentioned in a few weeks mm. when the when the coppers do their report. So what they're doing, they're, they're getting off the bus before they're thrown off the bus, right? Yes. And, and, and old Boris, what he's doing, he's driving this old bus, but he ain't looking the right way. <laughs> he 
is facing the wrong way, and what they need to do, they need to find a lay by, pull over, the conductor need to get a foul of him and hull him off the bus. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when uh, when Laura Koonsberg uh, stops, uh, you could be the BBC's political editor. That's a that's a very good um, recap on what's been happening. Um, you have- say them a bit, Cummins. You know, they, they, they said the day he left, <laughs> right, because yes. he went, didn't he? Yes, he oh, went, yes. Mommy Cum- Cummins, off, yep. off he went. Because of, cause of his eyes and he lied and all that, the day he went, they had a, they had a party in, in the flat. I suppose that was to celebrate he'd gone, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, apparently it was an ABBA party. Um, we'll, we'll, um, to be making, you see, he keeps having a little dig at Boris, doesn't he? He does, yes. He won't be making wine. He's got enough sour grapes. <laughs> you haven't mentioned Rosemary today. How's Rosie? I ain't seen a lot of her, to be honest. Boy, I was, I was hoping to pop round... Uh, when it's all Thursday, but I ain't really been a ready. She's got a she got a new window cleaner. Oh, has she? Yeah, she got a new window cleaner. Oh, you want to watch that? His name is Kevin, and he was uh, he was round there. I don't know, it was a Tuesday or Wednesday, and I see him. I say all right together, and just keep you know keep yeah. an eye. I don't yeah, know who these people are, dear. Yeah, no, that's true. Good and neighbour. He say, do you want me to do yours? I said, well, I'll I'll wait and see how you do hers first, because. Some of them, you know, they don't do the frames, do they? <laughs> well, they don't do the, you know, no, they some don't. of them, no, they, no. They, they do the glass, yep. and then they leave the frames all dirty, so you've still got to go behind them <laughs> and do them, ain't you? So I'm just waiting to see what sort of job he's done hers, Yeah. and then I might have him start, because I'm still doing ours, you see, but that get harder, Leslie. Yeah, I know. And this, I know. this time of year, I don't want to be getting that because your hands get so cold, don't they? Yeah, well, they do. Yeah, you want to leave it to the experts, <laughs> Brian. Leave it to the experts. Hey, look, can, right. you, can you do some shout outs for me today? Would you do yeah, that? Yeah, I, I don't yep. mind. Yep. Um, uh, hi, Mark. Hope you're keeping well. Could you please get Brian to give Scott Alban a birthday shout out on Friday's show? This is from Dan Payne. Yes, uh, Scott, you say? Scott's birthday, yes. Scott, yeah. Well, happy birthday to Scott. And uh, and also, uh, Sally's been in touch. Uh, could you do a shout-out for our son, Lee Pike, who's doing a sponsored 28-mile walk for Alzheimer's research? Uh, please send him all of our love from uh, our family, all the family. Uh, that's from, from Sally. So that's uh, that's uh, Lee Pike doing his sponsored uh, 28... 28 miles. It's a long while, isn't it? Plus, it is a long way, boy. Long way. So, yeah, well, well, well done to, well done to Lee, and, and good luck, boy. I hope the weather stay nice. And uh, yeah, go on then. What's what's it made of? Alzheimer's. That's good, boy. Well, Excellent. well done, boy. Excellent. And uh, hi, Mark. Can Brian wish me a happy fiftieth birthday for today? I'm feeling miserable. I hate getting old. Says Chris in Halesworth. No, that's only a. Chris, it's only is a number. A, a man or a woman? Chris is a man. That's right, because uh, some women are called Chris now, aren't they? They are, yes. That's right. So, yes, that's only a number. That's, that's the only way you can look at it. That's only a number, and it doesn't really matter. That's what you make of it. So, happy birthday to Chris, who's 50. And uh, and uh, Sharon from Walsham the Willows, please would you ask Brian to give me a birthday shout-out on today's show, as it's my birthday on Sunday. I listen to the show driving to work, so a birthday shout-out would really give my birthday weekend a good start. That's Sharon in Walsham the Willows. Yes, I will, boy. Um, happy birthday to Sharon. You have a lovely day on Sunday, darling. That's lovely. And um, somebody left a present on my car this week. Huh? Yeah, you know, uh, last week we talked about uh, a van which had got on the uh, on the back doors in, in all the mud and the dirt. Brian for PM. That's uh, right. Yes, and, uh, and and on the back of my car it says now Morning Leslie on the back of my car with a big exclamation mark in the mud. on your car? Yeah, looks like it. Steph spotted it the other day, didn't I you? I did, yeah, walking back with the dog and there it was. I thought, yeah. ooh, Are you going to been... call the police in? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, be starting a lot of that. He'll have a brick through your window, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, have a lovely weekend, won't you? Cheery all together. You be careful with that strimmer. Well, I'll see what the weather's like, but I'll do my best. Cheerio.